Let's drill down on these uh, earnings now with Mr. Ebenezer Onyagu, our Group Managing Director, CEO, Zenith Bank. Join us via Zoom. Great to have you on the program. Thank you, Ladi, for having me on. Yeah, so uh, uh, quite impressive earnings there, but uh, did it meet your expectations? Thank you very much. To ask if it met our expectation is relative. One thing is certain, we achieved double-digit growth in uh, gross earnings, which we haven't been able to do in the last five years. And again, what you see as the result we have achieved consistently is in line and in keeping with the legacy of our founder and chairman that build a strong pedigree and that track record of excellence performance. So in terms of asking whether we are in met our expectation, I would say yes and no. Yes, in the sense that we're able to achieve double-digit growth. No, in the sense that in terms of our expectation, we want to achieve much more. The biggest competition we have is within ourselves. We are not competing with the market. Even though by virtue of us competing with ourselves, we tend to dethrone and displace incumbents. But that's secondary. The primary thing is for us to keep achieving and maintaining a high-performance organization. So in a way, I would say it's met our expectation, and we, we also expect that going forward uh, towards, uh, towards the end of the year, we should be able to improve the run rate and see that at the end of the year, we should record double-digit growth, both in top line and bottom line. Quite interesting. And uh, you also announced uh, a dividend of about 30 cobo for every share of uh, 50 cobo held by uh, shareholders. Uh, how have investors reacted to this? Well, we expect investors to be happy about it because these are hard times. So paying 30 cobo is uh, another way of putting money in the hands of investors. Uh, we, expect, we believe that investors should be happy about it. And it's, again, it's consistent with our policy of paying a uh, half-year interest dividend and full year we do the bigger job. Quite interesting. So um, uh, recently, uh, we know the, the Central Bank of Nigeria raised the minimum interest rate of uh, Naira savings deposits from 0.15% to about 4.2%. How do you see this impacting uh, savings deposits? Well, uh, the first thing is to understand why CBN had to do that. I think it's in keeping with reigning in inflation. If you look at everything globally, interest inflation is on a spiral. So it's a no-brainer for CBN having moved the uh, monetary policy rate twice to adjust the rate for interest. I believe that it will encourage uh, savings to grow instead of keeping it the way it was at a level of 1.05%. Uh, so it's another way of encouraging uh, invest, I mean, customers to save, even in the face of a very biting and high inflationary trend. And how do you see this also impacting earnings for, for banks? Well, um, Ladi, these are very difficult times. We are all struggling, and uh, what I expect that every bank will be doing is looking at issues. There are so many moving parts in the, both in the local economy and the global economy. There are too many things driving inflation in Nigeria. You have fuel driving, fuel cost driving inflation. You have food cost driving inflation. You have forests also driving inflation. So I think it's about how each organization looks at it. And for Zenith, um, we are looking at it and making sure that we adapt relative to how we see the direction of travel. From what we see, there is no expectation that inflation could be raining between now and end of the year. So what we are doing is steadily adjusting our operating model and profile to ensure that we remain relevant. We are able to offer the same kind of services and value to our customers without undermining our margin. Banking is a margin business, so we'll be effective in terms of pricing both our deposit and our loan. Quite interesting. But what are your expectations for the second half earnings? Second half earnings? Um, a typical Zenith, we expect that we should maintain the run rate. It's going to be tough, quite all right. But uh, thanks to the excellent team we have, I dare say that we have the best uh, talent you can think of anywhere. It's the best in class team. We have a team that is quite committed, dogged, rugged, and very audacious in taking on bold initiatives. So on, on the back of that, and given our pedigree and uh, uh, record of delivering exceptional service, we should be able to close the year on a strong note. The other issue we think that should help us close on a strong note is the fact that we are making massive improvements in our retail and digital banking. They are delivering strong results. 
if you look at the result we have um, on, along the income line, the income from digital banking commission and fees and retail banking and fees, year on year, we achieved 45 percent growth. And when we started retail banking and digital banking in 2018, we had a number of accounts who were rated number eight in the industry. But today, we are very, very close number three in terms of number of accounts. So with the improvement and steady growth we are making and the development of new products and services, the massive automation, transformation agenda we are pursuing, we think, it though it will be tough, but um, we should be able to continue to extract value from the market and deliver strong results for shareholders. Quite interesting. Everyone trying to weather the storm at this time. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Beneza Onyago, GMD CEO of Zenith Bank. It was great having you on the program. Thank you, ladies. It's a pleasure to speak with you on this note. Thank you.